Yeah. And you know, even when you do know, like the more you train, the more um, you become humble, in my opinion, of because, course. because you realize that there's levels to this game as good mm -hmm. as you are, there's somebody better than you, you know, and there's somebody who could take you out. It, it, it doesn't matter who you are. There's always somebody better than you. And even, even though like I've been training now for, you know, uh, in total and grappling for, for like 12 years, but there's still guys out there who've been training longer and, 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 and yeah. they beat me like nothing, you know? And, and it's such a, it's such a humbling experience because, <clears throat> um, you know, like, so that's why I don't even have these thoughts in my mind anymore of like, Oh, what a badass I am because I could, you know, I could no. do this, I could do that. Or yeah. I won this competition or I choked out. I did very well in today's, uh, uh, today's Randori sessions, you know, uh, because there's guys out there that, wow, like, you know, you, there's nothing, there's nothing you, I can do against them because they're at such a high level, you know? And, and it's amazing. It's like, you roll with this guy, just when you think you're, you're good, then you roll with another one and then he'll completely destroy, um, you. destroy you. Yeah. And make you like, make you feel like if you're a, a white belt again. And yeah, it's, it's a constant reminder. Yeah. Yeah. Or like, for example, sometimes I lose so badly. I would say, I don't even deserve like uh, whatever rank I'm in or sometimes when I pull a technique off and it, com it comes out complete like bad I think to myself that you know I talk about these techniques all the time on my channel it's like, it's like I feel sometimes that I don't even deserve my audience in a sense and I'm like you need so much learning and so much studying like just you know like it keeps you grounded in a sense like Obviously, sometimes we go hard on ourselves, like, oh, I'm a white belt. Um, but it's like, as you said, it's a constant reminder, but uh, no, don't go too hard on yourself. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah. If you don't pull off Uchimata or Uchiyari in Randori because the guy is far more experienced than you, don't, don't think, you know, because you, you don't know how to do it. He's far more experienced and he saw it coming from way back. So when you pull it off like two days ago, that means you are somewhat good, you know, against someone your own level, or maybe even a little bit higher grade, but that guy was like way off. So don't go too hard on yourself, but just so you know that you still have way more to learn. It's, it's a never ending process. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, it's, it, it doesn't mean that you don't know how to do the technique or you can't execute it. It's just that the other guy saw it yeah. coming and you weren't able or to block your it. gripping way too good. Hmm? Or like, um, uh, like I remember I, I couldn't get a hold of the sleeve. He had my sleeve and also like the, I couldn't snap the, the lapel. I, and it was at all, I was just attacking out of desperation basically. And everything came out just so terribly because I couldn't stand and do nothing. I had no grips because he's just gonna destroy me. So I was just attacking out of desperation and all my techniques came out horribly. And I remember coming back home and I was thinking, man, I should just stop everything because I talk about these techniques all the time and I, I can barely execute them. And so I started having these, like this very bad cycle in my head. And then I was like, just relax. He was heavier. He's, he was, he's been doing judo for before you were born. Like just relax, calm down. And, you know, it, it happens. So don't get too discouraged, but just learn that you still have more, you know, to study. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why it's important to um, <clears throat> like to put things into context, to rationalize things. And, yeah. and also to train with, with, um, with lower belts a lot because I'd say then, a healthy mix of both, a healthy mix of both. Yeah. A healthy mix of both. Because the thing is, um, if you constantly train with people who are much more advanced than you, then you're going to feel like you're going nowhere. And yeah. then you'll always be in defensive mode. You'll always be in a desperate situation where you're just trying to attack and you can't practice anything that you want to practice because you're just in pure fight mode because you can't do yeah. anything. So you yeah. don't learn, you don't, you don't necessarily get too much out of that. But then when you, when you, when you, when you train with people who are uh, at your skill level or who are a little bit less advanced, then you can start working on your techniques and refining yeah. things and putting yourself I, in bad situations and so on and so on. And um, like me, I remember, Oh, one of the things that we used to do that we do at my club is that um, towards the end, you know, if there's a lot of people are, uh, uh, my coach is going to separate the groups. <laughs> so yeah. he's going to be like, okay, Hong, you go with this person, this person, th that's your corner. You guys fight together. Okay. And then you guys, you guys are heavier. You guys are going to go there. And 
I used to always want to go with the, uh, the black belts. Bigger guys. Yeah. Or the bigger you know, guys. Yeah. Because in my mind, I was like, I'm going to benefit more. I'm going to put, you know, yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to get a workout. I'm going to learn a lot and all that. Uh, and then at one point I realized that all I'm learning is, uh, all I'm working on, all, all I'm improving on is, uh, um, you know, falling, <laughs> my falling skills <laughs> and getting up like, and not giving up and being or getting countered. <laughs> 